260,000 people are expected to come here over the next four days. The highlight is on Friday, of course, it's the Gold Cup. But my highlight today is the first race. Uh, the favourite in that race is called Melon, so we could have Melon for starters. See what I did there? Now, actually, I would claim that joke, uh, but actually, David Williams from Labrooks gave me that a few minutes ago. Thank you very much for the joke. Tell us, or tell all the viewers who wouldn't normally put money on a horse race, and definitely not at the Cheltenham Festival, tell us what they're missing. They are missing the showcase event of the jump racing season. This is as big as it gets. This is as good as it gets. The very best horses from the UK and Ireland meet here in this beautiful Cotswold setting for 28 intensive, highly competitive racing. Biggest week of our year, £250 million, pounds, Sean, is going to be bet across the next four days. Dizzying figures. OK, you've convinced a lot of people to put a little sneaky bet on today. Where should their money go? Well, the feature race is the champion hurdle this afternoon, and the favourite there is going to be a horse called Yanworth uh, in the green and gold silks of owner JP McManus. But the forecast is good, so punters are going to be looking for horses that don't really want testing conditions. Brain power, not much evidence of it here, but brain power could be the way to go. That's been backed round about seven or eight to one. Uh, let's get stuck in each way. Well, we could do with a bit of brain power. And quickly, 60,000 people come each day. 10,000 of them are Irish. What is special? about the Irish in this place? Well, come here at 2 o'clock this afternoon, you'll think that the whole of Ireland has decamped to the Cotswolds for Cheltenham Week. They absolutely love it. They have some of the very best horses, four days of the very best of Anglo-Irish rivalries, and then we all go to Dublin on Saturday for the rugby, just to round it all off.